Now we're ready to place a single virtual implant. In the panorama view, double click on the edentula space. Then grab your implant license. Then move to the implant tab on the right. Select your shiny implant icon, then the tooth number. Leave orientation vertical, then select your implant. Here's your library. As you can see here, the diameters are listed on top and the lengths listed on the side. Select OK. And now your implant is attached to the cursor. This is way too long. What we're seeing is a cylinder around the implant. It measures three millimeters from the thread of the implant to the side of the cylinder. On the apical end, it's two millimeters from the implant to the bottom of the cylinder. To change the length, simply go to the right and select the desired length. Above and below the implant are the rotation lines. Simply grab on one of the lines, left click, hold, and rotate as desired. Now select the Implant Align tab on the bottom left. This window will show you the details. If you want to move the implant bodily, left click and drag. The slider bar allows you to rotate 360 degrees around the axis of the implant. For a report, select surgery on the right hand side and choose the paper icon. This is the first page and here's the second.